Well, first of all, Rob, congratulations on, on, on your first try and make a goal. What a stunner, but you'd have wanted it to be in different circumstances. Yeah, certainly, but, you know, that's football sometimes. Um, I thought we played well, just the mistakes we made and it cost us the game in the end. You can see the reaction for everyone at the end. I mean, you, as you say, you'd put so much into it, you know, everybody in the team today. Nine minutes of stoppage time, then we get the 10th minute and beyond, and they get the winner. That must be really hard to take. Yeah, we're all gutted. You know, training room, everyone's heads down, but... We pick ourselves up and go next week and hopefully that's a start for us now. We've shown what we can do against a good League One team and go again. I just said to the boss there, though, you, you can tell from the reaction of the fans at the end there, I mean, they know how much you've put into that and how you really deserved at the very least to take them back to Brenton Park. Yeah, we, we need them to stick with us now because we feel like we've got, got a bit of momentum from that. I know we lost the game, but I thought we played well enough to win the game in the, in the end, so we need, we need everyone to stick with us and we'll go again. Now let's talk about that special moment for you today. Certainly, uh, you know you almost scored at Stockport last week. Mm-hmm. You know you had a couple of starts. Now you, you made the run. I think it was Jordan Turnbull with the pass yeah, forward, yeah. but you still had a lot to do. So just talk <laughs> us through what happened as the ball sort of dropped to you. I don't know. It was a stall. Trying to get my first touch right, and as soon as I got my first touch right, I thought I've got a chance here. But as I bit it, didn't even see it. it fell on the floor, so I can't even see where it went. So I'll have to watch it back and have a look properly. Yeah, so you're playing wide, 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 yeah. wide right and coming in on your left foot, but I mean, there you'd actually made the run between two central defenders. Mm-hmm. Is that something you're being encouraged to do as well? Yeah, certainly. Just <clears throat> try and put the defenders off, really, and do what you can to get in, get, get in, get, get in the ball and try and make things happen. But I just seen the defender, the centre half wasn't looking, and the left back, I didn't know where the left back was. So at that point, I thought I'd make a little run, and the ball dropped to me perfectly, and you know, there was a good ball, and luckily I've scored. You come on loan, and, and, and sometimes when you come on loan, a little bit of time it takes to sort of get used to the club, yeah. get your fitness levels right and whatever, but you, you look as if you're, you're really at the top of your game, the top of your fitness at the moment. Yeah, I feel, I feel confident in every game we're going to. Every training session, I'm trying to push myself even harder to get even fitter mm. for the game. And I got cramped there, but I think I probably just <laughs> ran a lot that game. It's, it's probably the occasion as well, but, you know, I've just keep trying to do my best to the team and hopefully it shows. Is that the other side of the game? I mean, obviously, you, know, you like the ball to feet and to run at defenders, certainly, but also you've got that responsibility. You know, Leo Connors, your full-back behind you and to make sure he doesn't get an overload as well. Yeah, I've been working hard to try and get better at that in my game because it's not at a top level yet, but I want it to be. I want it to be there and, you know, I've spoke to the manager and the assistants and they've been, been helping me and getting, telling me what to do, where to go, and it's helpful. Obviously, great to have Luke Norris back on the pitch today as well. Yeah. I mean, you know, having a, a centre forward to lead the line like that and bring other players into it obviously helps you too. Yeah, he's a big help. Like for the first goal, we spoke before the game about him dropping back post. So as soon as I've come inside at the port, I'm not even going to look. So I didn't even have to look. I've just hit a back post and we got a pen from it. So you know, it helps. It helps the communication, communication side of it, and knowing what he's going to do and what I'm going to do. I'm not sure you get an assist when the penalty goes past that. Oh, so we, should, we, should, we should bring that in, shouldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> should bring in it with out there, without the stats. <laughs> um, uh, and as far as the, the lads in the dressing room, I mean, you, you know, you're bound to be pig sick. As we can yeah. see your reaction at the end of it there. But you know, can you think about those positives going there? And obviously, an important league game, you know, next week against Forest Green. Yeah, definitely. There's positives to take from the game, but there's also negatives. But I think there's more positives. I, I, I personally think I think we we shown a lot of character in that game to certainly come back from the first goal which happened in the first two minutes to come back score we scored again they scored two and then we scored last minute and then they scored again but the character we shown to keep coming back it was good and we hopefully can take that into next week and a spectacular goal today I'm sure you'd, you'd like to score a few tappings as well but uh, more goals from you between now and the end of the season is that your ambition? that's my aim yeah I've set an aim to try and score as many goals as possible and get as many assists that's what, that's what I want to do and that's what I've came to do and uh, the boss is taking the, the positives out today. You sound quite upbeat as well. Let's hope you can take it on. And it's the consistency now, isn't it? You know, you know yeah. what you can do now. As you say, you've played against a, a League One side who are doing decent this season. It's the consistency now you've got to produce. Yeah. We've just got to keep trying to do that each game now. And, you know, hopefully we can do that. Because I think we're, we're good enough to do that. Good enough to play in big teams. Well, the goal today is one you can play back and forth to yourself, can't you? And, and smile about that in the future. Hopefully next time it, it's a winner rather than a, a goal in a game that you've ended up losing, unfortunately. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to watch it back to what it's like, but hopefully I can watch that a few times, like, be on repeat tonight. <laughs>